Hey everybody, in this video on .1x, wired .1x with EPTLS, we're going to continue configuring ClearPass. So I think we're almost to the, we're almost done this. We have a service. It's called TestEve EPTLS 802.1x wired. Uh, let's go over this. It's using the authentication test evad and eptls and it's using the certificates it's going to push the certificate so there's our enforcement policy that we've created that the the wizard basically created it was pretty simple to create that so the only the only real gotchas here are the methods have to be correct We want to compare the subject alternative name and the source we had to update for test Eve AD to allow this SAM account name to be either the authentication username, the SAM account name, or the user principal name. So those are the two two real gotchas in this setup. So now let's go over the setup of the supplicant. So the supplicant is the Windows box right here. So instead, remember, we have to turn on I'm going to say no to that. We have to go into services. So this, if you're just setting this up from the beginning, go into services. And make sure you have wired auto config right here, wired auto config running. It's going, it's by default. It won't be running. You can also create a GPO that turns this on and configures it. So that's that's the way to go in a domain. You're going to want to do. You're going to want to have this automatically running. And I should do a video on how to set that up. And I I think that's probably a good idea. Do a little wired auto config GPO with uh, EPTLS, so I'll try to do that. But right now, just make sure you set this, turn this on and set it to automatic. That'll be enough for our test. Okay, once that is on, then if you go into the network adapter, what you'll see is if you right click and go to properties, this tab will be here, this authentication tab. If you don't have that conf that service on, you won't see this authentication tab. That's how you know the service is running. So if you click authentication right now, this is pretty much default. We have it set to peep. So what you're going to do here is you're going to change it to smart card or other certificate. We go into settings here. Um, what we want to do is pick our test Eve root CA that is a trusted root certification authority because we are verifying the server's identity if we go into advanced we don't really have to do anything there and and that should be good for that. Click OK. Uh, we can go to, to additional settings and make sure that this is set up as specify authentication mode, user or computer. And click OK. And now it's going to attempt to authenticate. And it's going to give me an authentication failed. So that's fine for right now. We're going to start troubleshooting this in a few minutes. But 
let's also let's see what's going on here. So right now we have no internet access, right? Because it's not getting, it's not allowed. It's dot one X is failing. Okay, so that that's fine. So at this point, what we're going to do is just go over in the next video, we're going to go over the settings on the switch, just as a reminder of what has to be set up on the switch to allow dot one X. Now, whether you're using peep or EEP TLS, this should be pretty much the same. So let's, let's go over that in the next video. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you could subscribe, thanks.